What's going on people? So I'm at my desk having my morning coffee and I'm going to go ahead and let you all know the news. So today I will be putting in my two week notice for corporate America. Uh, it's a crazy feeling. I've been working in corporate America since I graduated college in 2012. Uh, so in June, it would have been 10 years. I honestly don't know what to feel right now, but for those of you all who have been following the channel, ever since I first started this channel, I was working in corporate America and doing fitness at the same time. So it's been a lot of years of grinding, you know, putting out YouTube content. You know, I don't have the largest channel. My channel has not grown rapidly at all. But one thing for me to stay consistent over the years was to appreciate the audience that I do have. But to me, that's a lot because that means that there are 50, 55,553 people that find what I put out interesting and that means a lot to me so one I want to thank my YouTube fam for always supporting me and always being there uh, what am I going to be doing next um, so currently I didn't even share this with you all in the vlog yet but currently I'm essentially working four jobs so I have my nine to five. I do my personal training in person and I'm including online training with that. I'm branching that into one thing overall rather than separating them. So that's number two. The third thing, I'm a group fitness instructor at the boxing gym now. So I teach classes, at least four classes during the week where it's boxing and fitness combined. You know, in my road to the ring, the gym you all see me training at in those videos that's where i teach the group classes and then my fourth job is youtube whether people realize it or not youtube is a job it is time consuming especially when you're trying to keep the audience engaged and grow your channel and provide valuable information so uh, what i'm working on right now is i already you know typed up my two week notice and i'm going to be sending over to my manager shortly but now i'm just finishing up like my daily responsibilities for the transition plan and you know at the end of this month it will be three years since i moved to florida with my wife from chicago and i haven't covered that on the channel letting people know that i moved to florida to become more immersed in the fitness world in the fitness industry and i wanted to get out here because it's warm all year round a lot easier for me to get to the gym not have to worry about things like shoveling snow you know having to turn your car on for 30 minutes in the morning before going to the gym you know just different things i don't have to worry about this is the most i wear in florida when it's cold it's, this morning it was like 42 degrees so that was always the goal for me to be able to leave corporate America, but I didn't rush the process. I didn't do it prematurely. I made sure I saved up my money from online coaching, in-person coaching. Now I'm not rich or anything like that, but I made sure to have a nest egg saved up to where when I did quit, you know, I have enough to cover my monthly expenses for, you know, a decent amount of time. So that way I'm not struggling or you know having to be extremely desperate to get clients so that's the big news that i wanted to share with you all uh it's it, it's hard to put into words what i feel but i don't really know what i feel right now maybe it'll set in um when it's officially my last day because with two weeks left i still have work to do um granted it's mainly going to be transitioning stuff well at least that's what i assume it's going to be but my advice to everybody uh, would be, you know, I'm 33 now, so I wanted to be out of corporate America by the age of 30. Uh, but with me moving and things like that, it got pushed back a couple years. But just my advice to anybody, whether you're young, older, do whatever it is in life that makes you happy 
and spend the majority of your time doing that because it might sound cliche, but it is the truth. When you enjoy what you do, it does not feel like work. When I'm at work, well, <laughs> When I'm at the gym training clients, it doesn't feel like work to me. Like, cause I'm constantly learning and it's something I'm interested in. So that's my biggest piece of advice because we get caught up in this rat race, especially in corporate America where we're working for this next promotion. Not to say that's, is it that there's anything wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, move up the corporate ladder, then that is great. I know a ton of people that are extremely successful with their corporate careers. But at the same time, if that's not what you want to do, do not feel guilty about going your own path. And for me, that path looks like, you know, me going on my journey of being an entrepreneur and building something so that hopefully one day when my wife and I have kids that I have something that's a legacy for them, something that I can hand over to them if that's what they decide to do versus trying to show them the direction of how to you know, apply for a job and things like that. The older and wiser I get, the more I realize, you know, it's what, what can I do that's going to, you know, leave an impact on the world. And that's what my mind is going to be focused on now. Like from a fitness standpoint, what can I leave that's going to leave an imprint forever, even when I'm no longer here? Um, you know, something that I can always be remembered by. So now I'm going to see what it is like to be able to fully focus in on growing my fitness business. So it's all in. No more 40 hour work weeks from corporate America. All in. And then, you know, like I said, I have a nest egg. So I do have some flexibility there but i'm going to be extremely focused on growing my fitness business so please like the video it does help my channel to grow i'm really trying to grow the channel this year and as always i'll be taking you all with me on this journey but i encourage you all to go back and look at some of my older videos from years ago you all will see that i was still working out before work then going to work and just on this journey for a long time. So it's for me, it's been a long time coming. All right, so I am going to continue working on my transition plan uh, prior to my one-on-one -on -one meeting that I have with my manager. And then, but let me lock in for a little bit. And if I could, I would show you all what I'm typing for the transition. But for obvious reasons, it's corporate America. So I probably shouldn't show that. But you know, I want to share that with you all. Very excited. And when I do have my last day, I will be showing you all how that worked out and me turning everything in. But also in March, I'll be going live a lot, doing live workouts since I no longer have a corporate job. Uh, these workouts will require minimum equipment for some and no equipment for others. So definitely be sure you turn your notifications on so you do not miss it. When I go live in March, it will probably be almost daily, to be honest with you, depending on my schedule. All right, let me get some work done. I'll catch you all in a minute. Peace.